We hear about climate scientists, whatever that is. Now, in geology, we have a 250-year track record of arguing about climate. Textbooks are full of it. We've been labouring about climate for a long while, and then there's this sudden new invention of climate science. And I had some of these when I was head of department at the University of Melbourne, and these are embittered, obscure, unemployable academics funded by your taxes, and those taxes are to fund these people's hobbies, and the end result of that is that they put good people out of work and they cost our nation trillions. So there's one group of people that use models, another group of people, I mean, this is, this is really sinful, we use evidence, and the two are not in accord. And if they're not in accord, you've got to throw out the models, which we've seen time and time again are incorrect. So <clears throat> we can look back in the past and we can see that we've had six great ice ages. During that ice age, we'll have the ice expand, that's a glaciation, or it will contract, that's an interglacial. We are currently in an interglacial of an ice age that started on a Thursday 34 million years ago. <laughs> and the ice has come and gone. In our last interglacial, sea level was about seven metres higher. Temperature was about five degrees warmer. So if someone says, oh, this is the hottest day on record, you have to ask, since when? <laughs> if it's the hottest day in the last 120,000 years, then that is a record. But um, since when? So if we go to the peak of our interglacial, which was about 4,000 years ago, it was about five degrees warmer. So it's cooler than the hottest temperature on record. If we go to the time of Jesus, when it was warm, it's about four degrees cooler than then. If we go to the Dark Ages, go to the Viking Age, we've actually warmed up since then. If we go to the medieval warming, we've cooled down since then. And if we go to the Little Ice Age, we've warmed up since then. So since when? And I know this is going to surprise you, but we've just come out of a little ice age. What do you think temperature's going to do? Fall or rise? <laughs> it's been rising since the Maunder minimum more than 300 years ago. So it is no surprise that if you have cut off times for temperature or for sea level or for hurricanes or whatever, you can spin whatever yarn you want to spin. These six great ice ages started when we had more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere than now. We have 0.04% of that gas in the atmosphere, and we hear words like emissions. Well, that means nothing to me, because the atmosphere has changed in its carbon dioxide content from over 20% to now, which is really low in geological time. If we halved it, all plant life would die and animals would die.